Today, I'm going to show you such a cool way to connect one house that has home assistant. Let's say this is house A, and we have another house B. Suppose house B is where I am right now at, at this moment. House A is like a rental house, but in my case, it's my mother's house. At my mother's house, I already have fire and carbon monoxide and alarm system there. There's also a water leak sensor. So whenever there's a water leak, then it will alert my mobile phone and then I will act accordingly. But you know, what if I'm sleeping? Then even if I get an alert on my phone, I wouldn't even know. This is a really big issue for having multiple houses, such as rentals, vacation homes, Airbnb. When I asked this dilemma to the community at Home Assistance, they suggested using this brilliant add-on called Tada Remote Assistance. This remote instance add-on from HACS will talk directly to Home B. So now, when something important happened at A, then A will report to B. When House B receive something important, then it will alert a siren, which is extremely, extremely loud to wake me up, or have lights going off, blinking, 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 blinking. I already have it set up at two houses, so let's take a look. Previously, I showed you how to get multiple devices onto the same network using zero tier. If you haven't seen that video, please refer back to that video so you can see how you can link multiple devices. Here you can see the home assistant at house B, which is where I'm at right now, talking to house A, which is in a remote location. They are linked together because using zero tier, you can see that they are virtually on the same network so that they can talk to each other. Go to this website. I'll have it in the description section for you. Download this folder, download everything. Go into your home assistant folders on the network. For me, it's 192.168.1229 slash config folder. Go into custom components. Go ahead and paste the folder that you got from GitHub into this location. If you install correctly, this is what the folder structure should look like. Go ahead and do the same thing to your remote home assistant. From now on, we're going to refer the left screen as the remote side and the right screen is the computer B, which is where I'm at right now. Go into your file editor, open the configuration YAML, add this code in remote underscore home assistant colon enter space space instances colon hit the save button and exit out. On your main computer, computer B, you don't have to do that. Next, go into configuration, integrations, add integrations. Type in remote, set up as remote node because this is the remote node, the node that you are not at. On computer B, the one where you are at, click on configuration, integrations, add integrations, type in remote. Oh, by the way, if for whatever reason that you don't see this option to install, go ahead and hit Control F5 to force refresh your browser and then repeat the process of add the integrations again. And now you should see this option to install remote. On this screen, choose add a remote node and hit submit. It's going to ask you for the IP address. So go ahead and put in the IP address of computer A. So in this example, computer A is this house, copy this IP address, paste it in. To get the access token, you'll have to, your user, go all the way down to long live access token and hit create token. Give it a name, whatever you want, click OK. It will give you this really long code. Go ahead and copy all and then paste it into this access token space right here. Mine is not secure because I'm not connecting to HTTPS. So uncheck that, uncheck that, and hit submit. One of the options that I give you is adding a prefix. That way, you always know 
that the sensors coming from your computer A is computer A. So for me, I have my prefix as 506. Let me show you what I mean. Go into developers tool. If I type in 506, it will show up all of the entities that's going on at the house A. Let's do a quick example real quick. So you can see that I'm using a Larmo add-on and the house is currently ARM. On the right side, which is my computer B, you can see that it's showing the status for computer A is ARM away. Let me go ahead and disarm the computer A at the remote site. And bam, you can see that at computer B, which is where I'm at right now, the status is showing for house A as disarm. Pretty wild, right? Let me arm away again. Bam, you can see that it's showing the status as arming. Let me give you an example of a home automation I set up. Configuration, automation. So whenever this alarm system at computer A is trigger then it will flash the lights at the house of b this is the same entity that you saw earlier whenever this alarm is trigger then what we will do it's going to flash the lights at my computer b the house computer b it will also send me a, an alert that the house at 506 has been triggered pretty cool stuff right all right let me know what you think in the comment section below as always, I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Hope you found this video guide helpful. And thanks for watching.